how will you find a product if you're not being advertised, right? You can have the best product in the world, and if no one knows about the product, there's no way they're going to buy it. So that's why I tell any friend, anyone that ever comes to me is just launch something. Get an MVP out there. Just get a website up. You could get a website through Squarespace, through Shopify. It literally takes, in a weekend, you can have a nice looking website. That's the easiest part right now. Get the website up. Get one product out there, whether you're selling personal training classes or you're selling you know, uh, a new candle that you make. Just get the website up or use a platform like eBay or Etsy and you can have a pro website there automatically. So you get the MVP, you get your first few sales and that's how you build. You don't wait around till the perfect opportunity. You don't wait around till everything's perfect. Nothing's ever gonna be perfect. We're six years in, every single day there's more mistakes being made <laughs> than the previous, the previous years. So that's, that's what it comes down to, marketing and sales. You get the product and then you have to focus most of your time, especially as a CEO or as a, you know, as a founder, as an entrepreneur, you have your friends and family, sell to them first. See what they say about your product. Um, go on social media, you have 100 followers or 1,000 followers or 100,000 followers. Just get that one person to buy it, all right? So it's just very, very important to get that initial push, especially when you're first starting off, because you're not gonna know, you could be building your product for 10 years or five years or two years or one year, and you might build something that people don't even need. So even if the product's not finished, sales and marketing is still very, very important. And I'd say it's more important than the actual product itself. I mean, when you're buying an Apple phone now, you're not really buying the phone. You're, building, you're buying the brand. You're buying the, the marketing and advertising, the hundreds of billions of dollars that they spend on commercials. That's what you're buying because this phone, I mean, Samsung makes the same phone, Google makes the same phone, Microsoft makes the same phone, Hawaii, or however you pronounce it from the Chinese company, it's the same phone. Right now, there's nothing really innovative about this phone. Everyone makes the same phone. Same thing with computers. I mean, you're buying the Apple logo for an extra $2,000 compared to buying a Microsoft or you know, building your own computer. So that's, uh, that's, that's advertising, and that's why it's just so, so important.